The subject of this video was kindly supplied to me by icstation.com and what we are looking at today is a tiny FM radio module which contains a TEA5767 FM radio chip which is uh, this uh, small chip here and the module around it uh, which allows you to access this chip via the IC, um, I2C um, interface and basically tell the chip to tune on to any particular FM frequency and of course it has some other functions as well um, and you can find these chips online from many different sellers and eBay and, and the usual Chinese uh, sources but what this board gives you in particular it gives you the FM chip and it also gives you an amplifier circuit so you can straight away drive this uh, uh, like headphones or a small speaker. Within the bag I got the chip itself and also like um, a usual well the standard FM telescopic telescopic FM antenna and if I look at the back of the chip which I probably need to zoom in a little bit again you will see that everything is clearly labeled so the two headphone jacks on the top uh, one is actually for the antenna so that's where the antenna plugs in and the other one is a normal stereo headphone output um, I will be testing it with a small speaker, with one single speaker, so everything will be coming out as, uh, as mono, but yes, this is a stereo FM chip. And on the bottom you see the, uh, the four pins uh, to interface and power the whole module. So you have 5 volts, you have the STA and SL, uh, SLC for I2C and ground. So simple as that. So this module requires 3.3 volts, it's all, uh, it doesn't, sorry, this module requires 5 volts, not 3.3 volts. I will be testing it with an Arduino Nano, uh, which also runs on 5 volts, so it's going to be easy. I almost completed my review without looking at the actual listing on icstation.com. So I just searched for FM radio and there are quite a few modules uh, up there with IC stations. I mean, I particularly looked at this one because it has the amplifier built in as well. And as you can see it you know it comes with, with the telescopic antenna and at the moment is 524 US with free shipping uh, there is some um, promotion going on at the moment and you know within the product description you just get the usual um, uh, specs of the of the actual FM chip so that uh, the particular frequencies it uh, it covers and uh, yeah every signal to noise ratio yeah it needs 5 volts and the board size is 31 times 30 millimeters there is reverse protection and all the usual stuff yeah blue power indicator and i square c bus communication and also you have the headphone output and with tda 1308 audio amplifier so that should be it and there is no uh, examples or no other supporting document included in the listing also um, I haven't mentioned in the document but uh, it's probably important to know that so yes it has an audio amplifier and there is no way to control the the amplifier itself so there is no volume pot on the chip itself and it's not something that you can control on over I, R square, I square C so it's basically on and it will sound on a volume which is provided by this audio amplifier i was testing it with an 8 ohm uh, speaker so maybe if i had used the 5 uh, 4 ohm sweep speaker it would be uh, louder but uh, um, i think for a small radio application it's actually is quite adequate so let's carry on with the demo sir this is my setup showing up the capabilities of this uh, fm chip there are many projects online and you can find fully featured FM radios with nice displays and uh, automatic channel tuning and storing channels and all the features that you would expect from a modern FM radio. But what I wanted to show is a more simple one where let's say you have a, um, uh, you want to put this uh, FM radio somewhere and just to have very simple controls. So I've included only two buttons. The, the the right button is a mute button which is going to turn the radio on and off or it actually it's going to just mute the output and the other one is going to select from a predefined list of uh, stations so again um, you want to place this radio somewhere where you are listening to a particular number of channels and 
Uh, I guess in most cases you might be listening to one channel, but if the music is wrong or you're not interested in the news, then you want to just quickly check, uh, uh, switch to the, your next favorite channel or the third one or the fourth one. So instead of you know going through stations or tuning, you can just press a button and it goes to your next channel. So uh, for this setup, I'm using an Arduino Nano, but I'm using the pins uh, that you will find on any Arduino board. So you can use uh, a mini or like uh, or the original Arduino. It's going to function exactly the same. And for the connection between the uh, the FM chip and the Arduino, I'm just using the two I I C lines so it's connected to A5 and A4. Uh, and then you need uh, also the power uh, for the chip or to the chip and um, for the buttons I've just co uh, connected one K pull up resistors uh, to 5 volts and then when the button is pressed that connects to uh, connects directly to the ground and the the output of the buttons goes to pin let me check yeah, D2 and D3. So again, these are pins that you will find on any Arduino, so you can do do the same code with any Arduino. I'm just going to have uh, this sketch drawn up on the screen, so you can see it much clearly than uh, here. And the way it works is really, really simple. So let me just plug in the USB, which is going to provide power. If I manage to find the plug, probably it's the other way around. Yeah. So the board So the board boots up and then it tunes to the first station and I click on the next button it goes to the other station and the third station as well. And back to the first one. And the reception for the first one is probably not the best for some reason. Or it's maybe just the uh uh the thing is just on the radio. And then with the other button you can just mute it and unmute it. By muting the radio you actually cut the uh, uh, the output from the FM tuner so the uh, the amplifier is still on so you see you can hear this really faint hiss so probably it's not a really you know it's it might not be the best solution for turning the radio off for an extended period of time. As you can see when the radio is on you, you get a blue indicator light and all I have done here is I plugged up the normal aerial and I live in an area where there is you know perfectly good uh, FM reception so this radio has no problem picking up uh, you know normal FM radio signals and and picking them up as strong and being able to tune into the stereo signal and on the output again on the different jack I just have this single speaker connected and as you can see it gives you know not too loud but like a decent um, audio output that would be ideal for listening to you know the news in the morning in a in a in a not too loud room. As I said, even if you just Google TEA five five seven six seven or you can find many different uh, uh, projects online and quite a few videos as well. Um, but you know, finding the one which is right for you is is probably going to take some time. I started with this particular one at Arduino Automotive uh, from this guy, who. Um, implemented this uh, simple sketch and then created a well this simple uh, diagram or circuit and implemented a sketch which uh, allows the uh, the chip to uh, go through the different frequencies like go up and down and then automatically tune into the next station and uh, that didn't work for me for some reason it wasn't really stopping at the at the station so it was just scanning through and and not really stopping at any stations. Maybe I thought that the reception is not good enough, but it wasn't really that. And I find this one, which is the Rogers Dev Experience um, <clears throat> blog about a complete, again, FM radio. And this is one of the full featured one, which you know, has, a, has a screen and a couple of buttons and you can store stations and the whole thing gets like, stored in the memory. And he even built a um, uh, this board which uh, snaps onto the uh, Raspberry, uh, sorry, Raspberry Pi, sorry, uh, the Arduino. Uh, again, that was a little bit overkill for me. I think if I want like a, you know, radio with, with screen and everything, I would probably go to the store and get one, but I wanted a more simple solution. But I really like the, uh, the, uh, the library that he used because 
I was looking for some which has the mute function and I didn't find it in another um, uh, another example so again if you go up to the top of the uh, the page and then you look into the background you see the the github uh, page uh, for this particular one and if you just go back to the root and then you can download the uh, ex uh, the entire example and I basically used I think this simple radio station selector to uh, to uh, do my own sketch uh, which you can find here so again you will need to download this uh, this library <coughs> this project to to get the libraries installed and then you will find my piece of code in the uh, in in my github page and actually it is really really simple you need uh, two includes you need uh, the TEA 5767N uh, which is this particular li library for this chip and the wire.h um, <clears throat> to define the radio itself you just use this uh, single line of command so we are going to create a radio um, a variable which you are going to use to control the chip and again on the Arduino I'm using A4 and A5 as the standard I, I, I squared C pins and I defined uh, two more pins for the mute button and the station button which are D2 and D3 um, I created a flag just to sh uh, show that um, uh, you know I'm changing the station or um, I'm tuning into a new station because that flag controls uh, the the status update onto the serial port. I have the stations in an array, so these are the the frequencies or your presets that you want to um, tune into by pressing the station button, and they would just going to cycle through these uh, stations. Um, and a couple of internal variables like okay what is the current station what is the max station which is obvi obviously the length of this array and uh, the uh, and the mute state whether the uh, your um, radio is muted or not and starting the whole thing is uh, this again the setup section is is fairly easy I set up a um, the serial port 90 uh, 9600 baud uh, and uh, initialize the two buttons to be inputs and I go to the the, the first station so when the the unit powers up it will tune into the first station and it will turn on I added this delay because whenever you tune into the station you will see in the debug window then um, I'm also getting a response or I'm I'm printing a status screen, a status message on the uh, on the serial port, saying that okay, what's the frequency do we dialed in? Whether it's a stereo or a stereo program or a mono, and what's the um, signal level from one to fifteen? And what I've noted is that if I don't leave a delay, uh, then sometimes it shows that the seek is uh, the the signal is really really weak and, and it's like a mono station. But in fact, it's it's a it's a stereo station, but it might take you know just a little bit of time for the for the chip to tune in so adding a bit of delay would give you the correct results so maybe that can go down to like a hundred or fifty but for the time being I just left it at 250 milliseconds so that's quarter of a second and in the main loop I'm all I'm doing is just basically chain checking the uh, the buttons so if I have a mute if I press the mute pin Again, remember I have a pull-up resistor, so the uh, these are active low inputs. Um, I'm either using the radio dot mute function to mute the radio, or radio dot turn the sound back on function to basically unmute the radio. And uh, when the station pin is pa uh, pressed. Um, I increment the current station counter if it gets to the max station then I reset it to zero and I dial into the frequency of the uh, of the current station uh, taking it from the array and I set this flag to zero and again I, I put the same 250 delay um, before doing anything else and if the flag is zero then I print the uh, the actual stats which is coming back from the from the chip so I can read back the uh, the frequency it is dialed into I can determine whether the uh, uh, the reception is or the uh, radio is stereo or mono and I get the signal level again so if you get this 250 out 
you will you will notice that sometimes it falls back to mono and you get a really low signal level and that could be the fact that it's you know still tuning into that station and I just have a delay 100 at the end and um, that actually gets rid of the uh, the bouncing of the button so I don't get you know multiple pushes on the mute uh, button or the station change uh, so that's pretty much it it's a it's a very simple code it doesn't take a lot of uh, uh, coding to get this done and again uh, it's uh, uh, pretty much down to the fact that it's really easy to use the library it's basically just one single command to uh, tune into a station and 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 that's it it works you don't really need anything else um, before we compile we can check the um, the settings so again I'm using an Arduino Nano and it's connected to COM port 5 and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I also have the uh, the port monitor here, so I'm just going to clear this. I what's the problem here? Okay, maybe nothing. So I'm compiling the sketch, uploading it to the Arduino, and then it should come on with the first station. And you probably you can hear in the background. And I, if I click the station button and the next one and now we are back to the first one and this is how you mute it and pressing the same button again you can unmute it and I'm going to turn it off now I don't want uh, uh, YouTube to flag it up uh, for using copyrighted content. As you can see on the screen, whenever the the frequency, the signal level and the stereo mono are getting updated, it takes a little bit of time. So that's the time, that's how long it takes for uh, for the Arduino to read this uh, data out of the chip uh, you, on the I squared C bus. But, um, uh, and also you see there is a delay between, you know, the uh, tuning into a new station and also printing the uh, the stats and that's that's the 250 delay that I have here and also you notice that when I click on the uh, the button to change the station there is like a bit of a pop so if you want to do like a really nice uh, solution maybe what you can do is mute before you um, select a new frequency and then use the turn the sound back on uh, to turn it on so you don't get that really sudden hiss uh, which you can hear when it's uh, tuning to a new station. Now let's look at the circuit diagram which should be easier to follow than looking at my spaghetti breadboard on the video. The Arduino sits in the middle and now let's assume that it's powered by the USB. We take the 5 volt and the ground from the Arduino pins and connect it to the TEA5767 board. The SDA is connected to A4 and SLC to A5. That's the FM tuner part done. Of course you plug in your antenna and the speaker to the respective jacks. Now we also take the 5 volt rail and connect to the two pins D2 and D3 with a 1K pull-up resistor. And connect the two push buttons, one side to the ground and the other side to the Arduino pins. That's all. Please don't forget that you find all the links mentioned in this video in the video description. I hope you find this episode useful and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.